What's up everyone, it's your boy DJ Big 604 here, repping Q-Town Productions, your go-to mobile DJ company based right here in Vancouver, BC, Canada. QSC has just released firmware version 2.1 for their popular K.2 series powered loudspeakers, and it comes with a solid lineup of upgrades that makes these speakers even more versatile and performance ready than ever before. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to update the firmware on your QSC K.2 series speakers to the latest version 2.1. Now I'll be real with you. This is actually my very first time updating the firmware on the K.2s. So if you're a first time or two, just like me, this video is for you. This video is for everyone who wants to update their QSC speakers. And even for those who are thinking about doing it and are on the fence about it. Make sure to stick around to the very end of this video because I'll be going over all the new features that come with this new firmware update and it's packed with goodies. You you can thank me later or just hit the like and follow button and I'll share my personal opinion on whether it's worth updating after testing the speakers at a live event after I do the update. The update was released on May the 7th 2025 to the public so it's still very brand new. So to start you're going to need a computer or a laptop. You're also going to need a micro USB cable like this one here. See the micro USB end? Preferably, you'd want to be using a good quality one as you may need to use a USB adapter. And from what I've heard, you also need to use the older style USB, like this one here. As I've heard, USB-C has had some issues. This is what you want. This on one end, micro USB on the other end. I'll be showing you the process using a MacBook Pro today. And don't worry, you can also do this on a Windows computer as well. The process is identically the same. You'll just need to download the Windows version of the K.2 updater software from the QSC website. And sorry, my screen recorder was a trial version, so there is a watermark on it. Before you all go crazy on the comments, now let's get into it. Okay, so first off, you need to go to qseaudio.com. And I'll provide a link in the description of this video to where you need to go. Now, depending on what system you're using, you can either update this with Windows firmware or Mac firmware. I'm going to choose the Mac version. You also have to create an account on QSC Audio. It's free. Just make a username and password. Once you do that, you'll be able to access this area. This is exactly how it should be, guys. Just like this. Go next. We're going to say we read all that. Next. Next, next, go through the installation process here, finish. Okay, so here's the back of the panel here. You want to wiggle this knob from the sides. Be careful not to break it. And basically it should just pop off. All right, As you can see right there. That's where your micro USB is going to go into. Turn that on, as you can see there. Your computer will recognize that it's activated basically once you have the software open and you have to wait till it completely finishes. So do not interrupt this part as it could damage your speaker. I also don't recommend doing this if you have any events coming up and you don't have sufficient time to test your equipment. Definitely don't recommend that, but in my case, I got a backup set, so I'm okay to do it this weekend. So we kind of fast forwarded the video here, show you what happens when it completes. So 99% right now. Now it's doing the final little thing here. Then on your computer screen should read firmware up to date. So let's see if we got the new modes on here now. Let's see. Oh, there it is, club mode. Nice. It's vocal boost and smooth. There's the new modes right there. So, so I'm just gonna do my other speaker here. You know we're keeping that club mode. So I'm just gonna do my other speaker here and test this one obviously. And I will be doing a follow-up video maybe in a month or two about how the new update's been. So hang tight guys, I'm gonna do the other speaker now. And I just completed the second one here. Just finished. So let's see. Let's see if it shows up here. There you go. So there we go, guys. New modes are showing. I'm just going to test this one out here. And I'm going to get into exactly what these modes are and how you can use them. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get into the new QSC K.2 firmware update 2.1. Here's the full summary of these features and new preset models. 
First up is the extended onboard delay. This update doubles the delay time from 100 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds, which means now your K.2 speakers can be efficiently used as a delay or fill speaker in much larger venues like outdoor festivals or big halls or expansive performance spaces. This small tweak makes a big impact for professional setups where timing and clarity matter. Now let's talk about the three brand new factory voicing presets that are included with this update. First off, my personal favorite, the club preset. This is a brand new alternative to the older dance preset and is engineered for high SPL playback, meaning louder, punchier sound with extra energy. It boosts both mid and high frequencies, giving you the playback material more edge and clarity in loud environments like clubs, parties, or high energy shows. Next up is the Vox Boost preset or vocal boost preset. This one is especially helpful for anyone working with vocals, whether it's live singers, public speakers, or even karaoke setups. It's inspired by the Legacy K series vocal boost and increases upper mid-range frequencies to help vocals cut through the mix better. The result, clear, more intelligible speech and vocals don't get lost in the background. And then we've got the smooth preset. This one is perfect for taming those harsh or overly bright high frequencies that can show up in both live and recorded audio. It softens the top end and creates a smoother, more balanced sound. This preset is ideal for events in acoustically reflective rooms or situations where you just want a warmer, more laid back tone. What's great about these new presets is how easy it is to switch between them. Whether you're in a small room or a huge hall, whether you're playing dance tracks or hosting a live band, you'll have more tools at your fingertips to dial in the perfect sound. On top of that, version 2.1, brings you key performance improvements under the hood. The speaker protection system has been enhanced, making it smarter and more reliable. These refinements help prevent unwanted triggering of protection modes, especially during high demand performances, giving you a peace of mind during your events. Now, after I did the update, I had an event a few days after. Don't be a crazy person like me and do this, okay? Make sure you test out your speakers out for at least 15 minutes after doing this update. I just tested them to make sure they work, and then I went off to my gig. Now I ran both of my QSCK 12.2 speakers in the all new club mode preset for the whole night as I was DJing a pre-wedding event of around 150 guests outdoors. And from what I noticed, this new update and this specific mode was amazing in terms of clarity. I mean, these speakers were already awesome, but after this update and running this mode, it was insane. Insanely clear audio. I was amazed. I really felt like I got a set of brand new speakers, but I had to run them fairly hard all night as I'm a bass head and I had no subwoofer with me that night at this event. And I was outdoors and my crowd was Punjabi and they absolutely love it loud. You already know this. I found it was lacking in the low end, but this is expected as they have tweaked it from the previous dance preset mode, which gives you more low end, but then had less clarity at high volumes and you would run into some distortion at higher levels. But I know if I had a subwoofer with me, it would have been icing on the cake, baby. Oh yeah. I was only able to test this preset mode specifically, so I can't speak on the other modes properly yet, but maybe in another future video, I'll give you my honest opinion on those presets as well. It's 100% worth updating your speakers to this latest firmware. And the best part is the firmware is absolutely free and available now at qsaudio.com. And no, QSC is not sponsoring this video, although that would be sick if they did. I would love to test out some of the new gear that they have coming out in the near future or even down the road. QSC, reach out to me. If you're listening, you guys should really release a 15.2 version of these speakers. That is what's needed, as I have never been a fan of the KW series. In my opinion, for their price, not a big fan. I would rather stick with these speakers personally because they're more compact. And for me, I just like the way they sound better personally. So if you're a DJ, live sound engineer, musician, or an event tech, this firmware upgrade is absolutely worth downloading and installing. It adds power, control, and new sound possibilities to your existing K.2 speakers. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for videos just like this. Also, follow me on social media at DJBig604 and check out my DJ company based right here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada called Q-Town Productions. We specialize in weddings, corporate events, photo booths, and much, much more. Check Check out the website if you want to learn more at www.q-townproductions.com. So I got to get ready to head out to another event. This is DJPIG signing out. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.